Test three. Listening. There are five parts to the test. You will hear each piece twice. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Part one. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct picture. Look at question one. One. How will they get to school? What are we going to do now that your bike is broken? We will have to take the bus to go to school. Or maybe we could walk. It's not too far. Good idea. My dad says he'll fix my bike next week. Now listen again. What are we going to do now that your bike is broken? We will have to take the bus to go to school. Or maybe we could walk. It's not too far. Good idea. My dad says he'll fix my bike next week. Two. Where did Bill and his family stay on holiday? Hi, Billy. How was your holiday? Did you enjoy camping? Actually, there was a big storm when we arrived, and the children were too scared to sleep in the tent. Oh no! So what did you do? Did you stay in a guest house near the farm? We found a very modern hotel that had a family room for all of us. It was so nice, with such a good restaurant and pool. That we booked him for the whole week. There weren't any guest house available in the area. Now listen again. Hi, Billy. How was your holiday? Did you enjoy camping? Actually, there was a big storm when we arrived, and the children were too scared to sleep in the tent. Oh no! So what did you do? Did you stay in a guest house near the farm? We found a very modern hotel that had a family room for all of us. It was so nice, with such a good restaurant and pool that we booked him for the whole week. There weren't any guest house available in the area. Three. What time does the earliest coach to Glasgow leave? Good morning. Do you know what time the next coach to Glasgow leaves? I think there is one leaving at eleven forty-five, isn't there? Unfortunately, they told us that it has been cancelled because the driver is sick. There's usually another one at twelve fifteen, but that has been delayed because of a problem with the engine. Oh no! I need to be in Glasgow before two p.m. I have an important school project there. Don't worry. The twelve fifteen will actually leave at twelve thirty, so you will have plenty of time to get there on time. Now listen again. Good morning. Do you know what time the next coach to Glasgow leaves? I think there is one leaving at eleven forty-five, isn't there? Unfortunately, they told us that it has been cancelled because the driver is sick. There's usually another one at twelve fifteen, but that has been delayed because of a problem with the engine. Oh no! I need to be in Glasgow before two p.m. I have an important school project there. Don't worry. The twelve fifteen will actually leave at twelve thirty, so you will have plenty of time to get there on time. Four. Which subject will they study first today? Hi, Maria. Have you seen the changes to the timetable for today's lessons? No. Aren't we having history first? I think that today we have maths first. Oh, and when will we have history then? After Chinese, which is the second lesson for today. Now listen again. Hi, Maria. Have you seen the changes to the timetable for today's lessons? No. Aren't we having history first?
I think that today we have maths first. Oh, and when will we have history then? After Chinese, which is the second lesson for today. Five. What is Kate's dad's job? Your job at the hotel must be very difficult at times, Dad. Are there many problems with customers and guests? Only a few people have problems with our staff, especially with our waiters and waitresses. What about the receptionists, Dad? Do they ever have any problems with guests? Sometimes, yes, but it's very unusual. If there's a problem. I'm called from my office, and I have to go and see what is happening. But I don't mind that; it's my job. Now listen again. Your job at the hotel must be very difficult at times, Dad. Are there many problems with customers and guests? Only a few people have problems with our staff, especially with our waiters and waitresses. What about the receptionists, Dad? Do they ever have any problems with guests? Sometimes, yes, but it's very unusual. If there's a problem, I'm called from my office, and I have to go and see what is happening. But I don't mind that; it's my job. That is the end of part one. Test three, part two. Now look at part two. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word or a number or a date or a time. Look at questions six to ten now. You have ten seconds. You will hear a teacher talking to students about a sports day. We have changed the day of our sports day this year. This is because we want to include swimming events, and our new swimming pool won't be ready until June the fourth. The new date will be Friday, June the fourteenth. I think this will be much better for everybody. I hope that all of you will be interested in doing something for our sports day. Please put your name on the events list if you would like to take part. The list will be put on the wall beside the library until Thursday. If you have any questions, Miss Pink, that's P I N K, our sports teacher, will be available to answer them during lunch break on Monday. We will have many of our usual events. Such as a volleyball match and, of course, a football match. However, this year we will also have one more new event. This is a cycling race in which teachers can take part. It will be at the end of the day before prizes are given to the winner of each race. I hope to see you all there. Now listen again. We have changed the day of our sports day this year. This is because we want to include swimming events, and our new swimming pool won't be ready until June the fourth. The new date will be Friday, June the fourteenth. I think this will be much better for everybody. I hope that all of you will be interested in doing something for our sports day. Please put your name on the events list if you would like to take part. The list will be put on the wall beside the library until Thursday. If you have any questions, Miss Pink. That's P I N K. Our sports teacher will be available to answer them during lunch break on Monday. We will have many of our usual events, such as a volleyball match and, of course, a football match. However, this year we will also have one more new event. This is a cycling race in which teachers can take part. It will be at the end of the day before prizes are given to the winner of each race. I hope to see you all there. That is the end of part two. Test three, part three. Now look at part three. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions eleven to fifteen now. You have twenty seconds.
you will hear Tim talking to his friend Sarah about a party he's going to have. Hi, Sarah. Did you get my text message about the party for next weekend? So you didn't then. It's going to be a week later. I forgot we have exams next week. Right. So, where's your party going to be? Your house? No, my parents will be at home the night I want my party. Oh no! So what will we do, Tim? Jack said we could go to his house. Well, at least we can invite all our friends. Yes, but it's quite far from here, and it's not as large as yours. I know. Jack also said that because he lives in a quiet area, the party must finish at midnight. He will have problems with his neighbours if it doesn't. That's a pity. It was great last time when your party finished at three in the morning. That's why I prefer parties in the winter. The doors and windows are closed. Now it's summer. Everyone will hear the noise from the music and dancing. I suppose so. Can't we close the windows? Actually, I thought I would have the party in the garden. This way, the guests will have more space. That sounds great. Now listen again. Hi, Sarah. Did you get my text message about the party for next weekend? So you didn't then. It's going to be a week later. I forgot we have exams next week. Right. So, where's your party going to be? Your house? No, my parents will be at home the night I want my party. Oh no! So what will we do, Tim? Jack said we could go to his house. Well, at least we can invite all our friends. Yes, but it's quite far from here, and it's not as large as yours. I know. Jack also said that because he lives in a quiet area, the party must finish at midnight. He will have problems with his neighbours if it doesn't. That's a pity. It was great last time when your party finished at three in the morning. That's why I prefer parties in the winter. The doors and windows are closed. Now it's summer. Everyone will hear the noise from the music and dancing. I suppose so. Can't we close the windows? Actually, I thought I would have the party in the garden. This way, the guests will have more space. That sounds great. That is the end of part three. Test three, part four. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Sixteen. You will hear a woman talking to her son Ben. What did Ben forget to do? Thanks for doing the shopping, Ben. No problem, Mum. I like to help when I can. I hope you didn't forget anything. I got everything I remembered: milk, bread, vegetables, and the newspaper. Didn't you make a shopping list? Yes, but I left it on a table at home. Well, let's hope everything's here. Now listen again. Thanks for doing the shopping, Ben. No problem, Mum. I like to help when I can. I hope you didn't forget anything. I got everything I remembered: milk, bread, vegetables, and the newspaper. Didn't you make a shopping list? Yes, but I left it on a table at home. Well, let's hope everything's here. Seventeen. You will hear two friends talking. Why did the girl miss her train? Hi, Jackie. What's the matter? You look upset. I missed the train. Didn't you hear your alarm clock again? Yes, I did. I actually got up earlier than usual, but they changed the timetable, so I was on the wrong platform. Oh no! Didn't you try and run to get the train? It was too late to do anything when I found out. Now listen again. Hi, Jackie. What's the matter? You look upset. I missed the train. Didn't you hear your alarm clock again? 
Yes, I did. I actually got up earlier than usual, but they changed the timetable, so I was on the wrong platform. Oh no! Didn't you try and run to get the train? It was too late to do anything when I found out. Eighteen. You will hear a girl talking about her neighbour. What happened to Mr. Brown last night? I saw an ambulance at Mr. Brown's house yesterday evening, but I spoke to his daughter after the ambulance left. He wasn't as bad as they thought at first, so he didn't need to go to hospital. His leg was making him feel awful, so she thought it was broken. Luckily, it wasn't. He was just in pain. Now listen again. I saw an ambulance at Mr. Brown's house yesterday evening, but I spoke to his daughter after the ambulance left. He wasn't as bad as they thought at first, so he didn't need to go to hospital. His leg was making him feel awful, so she thought it was broken. Luckily, it wasn't. He was just in pain. Nineteen. You will hear a man talking about his son Mario. What problem did Mario have? Unfortunately, Mario didn't pass his driving test. His English isn't good enough, or not as good as mine, at least. He speaks English quite well, but his vocabulary isn't good enough to understand some instructions. So he couldn't answer all the questions on the computer test. It's a pity. He can drive really well. Now listen again. Unfortunately, Mario didn't pass his driving test. His English isn't good enough, or not as good as mine, at least. He speaks English quite well, but his vocabulary isn't good enough to understand some instructions. So he couldn't answer all the questions on the computer test. It's a pity. He can drive really well. Twenty. You will hear a husband and wife talking. What are they doing? If you look on the map, we're just here. No, we're not. There aren't any mountains around here. But we passed that lake only two minutes ago. You were going so fast that I didn't see it. Well, we'll go on a bit further then. If we're going the right way, we'll drive past the train station soon. I hope you're right, but I think we're lost. Well, let's see if you're right. Now listen again. If you look on the map, we're just here. No, we're not. There aren't any mountains around here. But we passed that lake only two minutes ago. You were going so fast that I didn't see it. Well, we'll go on a bit further then. If we're going the right way, we'll drive past the train station soon. I hope you're right, but I think we're lost. Well, let's see if you're right. That is the end of part four. Test three, part five. Now look at part five. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions twenty-one to twenty-five now. You have fifteen seconds. You will hear Marcus talking to his aunt Paula about a school trip. What problems did he have on this trip? How was your school trip, Marcus? It wasn't very good. First, all students met at the school. It was so hot there yesterday. Then we all had to meet some of the teachers at the coach station, which was very dirty. Then we all went by coach to a museum in the city centre. Were the roads very busy? Was there too much traffic as usual? No, but we couldn't open the windows. 
It was thirty degrees yesterday, so it was much too hot inside. Oh dear! But was the museum interesting at least? Quite the opposite, actually. I didn't enjoy it at all. It was very big, but it was full of old things that I don't like. Then we went to the cafe to buy some lunch. Oh yes, they have a big cafe there, don't they? Yes, and it wasn't expensive, but there were so many people that there was nowhere to sit. Did you look in the museum shop? They have nice books in there. Yes, that wasn't boring, but they were asking too much money for everything. You must have been happy to get back on the coach and come home. Yes, but we had to walk half a kilometre to get to the car park. Oh dear. Now listen again. How was your school trip, Marcus? It wasn't very good. First, all students met at the school. It was so hot there yesterday. Then we all had to meet some of the teachers at the coach station, which was very dirty. Then we all went by coach to a museum in the city centre. Were the roads very busy? Was there too much traffic as usual? No, but we couldn't open the windows. It was thirty degrees yesterday, so it was much too hot inside. Oh dear! But was the museum interesting at least? Quite the opposite, actually. I didn't enjoy it at all. It was very big, but it was full of old things that I don't like. Then we went to the cafe to buy some lunch. Oh yes, they have a big cafe there, don't they? Yes, and it wasn't expensive, but there were so many people that there was nowhere to sit. Did you look in the museum shop? They have nice books in there. Yes, that wasn't boring. But they were asking too much money for everything. You must have been happy to get back on the coach and come home. Yes, but we had to walk half a kilometre to get to the car park. Oh dear. That is the end of part five. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. You have one more minute. That is the end of the test.